Satnam Ananda here with Don't Make Assumptions from Don Miguel Ruiz's Four Agreements. So with this is to be able to ask clearly what it is you want so that it is not misunderstood. So many times we don't speak clearly because we don't want to be misunderstood. We don't want people to take it personally, which is the first one we went over. And in essence, we create more of this type of diluted um, discussion of what it is that we're truly trying to ask for or what it is that we're not wishing to do. Something that I work with myself is to not make explanations if I am coming home late because I am wanting to do an event or that I need that time for myself or I just don't feel like partaking in something. So a great way to start is just by not having to go into high light explanations, going over the top, or saying yes to things that you're really not caring to do, or putting a lot of times those pause buttons and avoidance and not having to deal with it. The second one is where we're going to go into these exercises, which is so huge, and being able to do clear communication. By feeling that of the clear communication, you will see how much of yourself has been disempowered by it and also maybe how personally you can take by other people's clear communications. So with that, the first one I'm going to show you, you can do this exercise with yourself, but when you can find someone else to do it with you, it takes it to a whole nother level, not only for you, but that of the other and creating that safe space of speaking clearly. So connect into your heart space. Maybe bring to sight someone that you are dealing with some aversion with, whether it's that of communication and not feeling safe to speak what you wish for, or someone that has been really bombarding you that you don't feel safe to put those no's out there. So with your heart space, you're just going to connect in for a moment. Feel yourself, your healthy boundaries. That the clear communication, what you wish for in this situation, and you're going to place your other hand out as if you're connecting to their heart space, that you are creating this clear communication heart to heart, not taking anything personally, not making assumptions how the other is going to react, but with the love, respect, and honoring of one another, just clearly coming from your space to theirs. So as you're doing this, you're going to start waving out that energy, just telling the person maybe, in your heart space, I just need a little bit more room here to feel myself and not have your energy interfering, your expectations. And when you feel that space, just hold, feel your essence, that safety, and also that respect, that honoring of one another. Feel them understanding you. That is a safe space to work with, to communicate with. And then you can start in your own time when it feels good to start bringing that energy forward. And when you feel that ping on the heart, you can stop again and take a moment to feel that. Make sure that it's safe, that it takes as long as it needs to be. This time is honoring you and seeing the other receiving that clear communication. And you can keep moving forward, going back, but just start attuning to that energy, including that holding space. How connected you can be, even if it is states apart, lifetimes apart, but from heart to heart, you honor, love, respect one another, and it is in clarity and in truth, not making the assumptions. Satnam.